Okay, here we go. The uh, ebb and flow bed is ready to go. It's got all my media in there. It's been running. I'm testing the uh, the bell siphon. Uh, as you can see, it's filling up right now. Sorry about that. Kind of hard to get a good look without the flexion. There you can see the water filling up. Right now I got it set on about uh, it takes about eight to ten minutes to fill up. I'm timing it just to see. And then basically what happens is it gets full, sucks all the air out of that cavity on the top, pulls it down, creates a complete siphon, and empties this whole entire bed down to about an inch. It starts to siphon there, runs all the way around there, and boom, comes out there into the filter sock back into the system. Um, you can't have that tube underwater I found out because then it creates a back pressure and will not let the, uh, the cylinder fill up. It just makes the, the bell siphon uh, actually float because it uh, can't suck the, the air out. There's no place for it to go. So anyway, uh, we'll come back in a minute when I see it start up. Oh, I forgot to mention I put in, uh, I don't know, I guess you'd call it a an emergency uh, bypass. If for some reason that siphon breaks, a regular siphon stops working completely, gets plugged or something, uh, when that fills to the top or overfills, it'll overflow, comes around there and basically ends up back down into this uh, 75 uh, which then in turn is all completely plumbed and comes around here into this uh, filter sock again. Everything goes to that one filter sock. And as you can see since I put the media in, look how it turned, uh, turned red. Anyway, it's uh, get about ready to siphon. Okay, while we're waiting for it to drain, show you the rest of the system. Looks a little cloudy, but that's just because of, I don't know, the exposure on my camera, and I just fed them. They mess up the tank pretty good, which is the whole purpose, um, because all the fish emulsion and leftover fish food will turn into uh, um, fertilizer for hopefully for my plants. Um, there's another tank. This is the 75 that we saw the back of. There's where the, the grow bed's going to be. Uh, if you come way back over here, you kind of get a, a view of what it looks like in the wall. Now we're going to come around this side. And we see the sump again. There's the pump. We got a Pan World uh, 250 PX, I think it is. It's the pressure pump. Got close to 2,000 gallons an hour running this whole system. Okay, we're back. It's the tray's full. Just starting to trickle a little bit over the overflow. I'm going to try to get a good, good view of what actually happens here. It trickles and trickles until it gets to a certain point and sucks all the air out of that chamber. And you'll see it happen here really quick. And I shouldn't say really quick. It's going to take a minute, so be patient. I want to try to capture it. Getting close. Yeah. 
Okay, in a minute. There it goes. You can watch it. It's about ready to... There, see how it went dark? Because it sucked all the air out of there? And what it's doing is it's creating a complete siphon. And it's just flowing like crazy. So it empties that tray happens really quick. Still going for a little bit here. Boom. Sucked suck there and broke the siphon. Now to fill up and do it all over again.